Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I look a little weird. I actually have a product that I'm very excited to use and I purchased the Wonder Brow One Step Brow Gel. This is what the box looks like. And this is in the shade Black Brown. This is what the actual product looks like. It's very big, as you guys can see. It's about the size of a lip gloss. Just to compare, this is an Anastasia Liquid Lipstick. And this is a Wonder Brown. As you guys can see, this one is slightly bigger. There's three grams of product in here. And being that you're just using this product on your eyebrows, I feel like you have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of product. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to use it. This is the first time I use it, so I'm hoping that it is a success. I know that I've seen people use it and they'll just kind of work off of the wand with a brush. So I'm using my Anastasia brush. Um, I think this is number 12. It has a spoolie on one end and then the brush on the other. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this product on the back of my hand. And it has an actual brush tip and just based on what the actual instructions say they say just to kind of apply it directly onto the brow but as you guys can see I don't really have eyebrows and I don't think that that would be the most effective way so I'm just taking from the back of my hand I'm dipping the brush I'm going to clean some off because I know that you have to work um, very cautiously with this because it is supposed to be very water resistant and proof. So I'm just going to start off by lining my brows the same way I would. And I'm just going to kind of comb through any excess product. Whoops. And I'm just going to, this is, this seems like a very sheer product. And this is not the darkest shade, but the second darkest. After this, it's a black. And black is definitely too harsh for me. So considering that I've never used it, I feel like it's not very difficult to use, especially if you're used to working with something like Dip Brow. Um, and I feel like as it sets, it becomes a little easier to use. I don't know how I feel about the color. I feel like it's a little too light for my liking. It looks a little ashy, but we'll see. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that product on the back of my hand and I'm just going to fill in my brows a little bit more and again I'm just going to take very small applications of this because I don't want to overdo it and then jack up my brows. When I was researching what color to get, um, I saw that black brown was actually the best color for me. It looked really nice and uh, dark on, on the girls that were using it, but I still feel like it looks a little gray. I'm just kind of doing like little light strokes. Okay, so we're going to leave this brow as is and then I'm going to move on and do this one. Wonder Brow. Okay, today was the first day that I wore it and I have to say that considering it was the first time I had ever applied this product, it was not as horrible as I had anticipated. Um, I'm just I have a mirror so I can really get a good look at what this looks like. It definitely stays on. So as you guys can see, I'm, I'm rubbing on it. I'm almost like scared to rub on it. So I'm just rubbing it to show you guys. There's nothing on my fingers, you guys can see. So it doesn't come off. 
Um, what I do see is that with a little bit of fading, like even if you just kind of like rub your fingers through it, it the color isn't as dark or as intense. Um, I feel like this product has potential and I know it does because people love it and I've heard a lot of really amazing things about it. As of right now, I'm not sure how I feel about it, so I'm going to have to continue this video to tomorrow. Um, I just feel like in this lower area where I kind of define first and then blend it up, it looks really um, tacky, textured. Um, it definitely does make it look like I have more eyebrow than I actually do. Like you can kind of see that there's some definition there. Um, but I think I need to play with it a little bit more just to really get a feel for it. And then tomorrow, um, I'll see how it works with like, like the water in my face. But I think it is a product that I'm going to try um, when we're on vacation this week and see how it works. I will definitely take it because when I use Dip Brow, when, when I get in a pool or the ocean or the, or the water, it just comes off. Like you'll see that there's still something there, but I want something that's going to be like budge proof. I don't want to jump in a pool or water with eyebrows and then come out with like nothing. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. But for now, I don't want to give it a review yet. I don't want to tell you guys, you know, that I'm really like dissatisfied with it or that I love it because I don't really have much of an opinion yet. But we'll keep you posted and we'll continue this video tomorrow. All right, so we're gonna do our eyebrows. We're gonna be using the Wonder Brow today. And I'm gonna start off by just brushing my little thin eyebrows up and out of the way. This is going to help give them shape. So I'm just gonna work right off of the wand. I'm gonna take my Anastasia number 12 brush and I'm just going to load up my brush, but lightly load my brush. And then I'm gonna start off by um, just kind of drawing or sketching the brow out and then working the product into the brow. We're gonna let that sit, do the other brow, and let it dry, and then go back in to make it a little bit darker. All right, so I have my Wonder Brow on, and I don't think I'm gonna do a second layer of it. I think I'm just gonna go in with my Dip Brow. I'm gonna let this dry, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, Wonder Brow is a little bit more tedious and difficult to work with, and I think that that's what puts me off. Like, it just requires way too much time, and I'm sure that, you know, the longer you practice with it and work with it, the better you'll get at it, but I mean, take a look. I'm just not very impressed, so it's, it just seems like it's too much work. I will tell you guys, though, that I would use this, um, like if I'm going to be in a pool or where I need to really stay on, I do feel like this product does wear or hold up a little bit better than like Dip Brow. So I won't be returning it. We'll just, we'll add another layer, screw it. Okay, we're gonna go in with our second layer of Wonder Brow. Let's hope it goes well. That's a problem with this product because you never know what it's gonna really look like. So as you guys can see, it definitely made my brow a little bit darker, but I still feel like the color is a bit ashy. We'll leave it and if I need to, I'll go in with like a pencil or something just to deepen it a little bit. So the other thing is that this product doesn't go on smoothly, like it looks kind of patchy sometimes. So you really have to like work it into the product that you've already laid down that's dry or your actual eyebrow here. I am going to have to go in with a little bit of dip brow just because it didn't go on as smooth. So I'm just going to go in and fill in the, the little gaps. I'm telling you guys, this product is quite a bit of work and that's where it puts me off. So if you're not one of those people that want to spend a ton of 
time on your eyebrows. Like so for me, on a daily basis, I don't want to spend this much time on my eyebrows. I need to be in and out. This product is probably not for you. I'm gonna comb through my eyebrows a little bit because they're looking a bit chunky and thick from the Wonder Brow. Let me show you, it is 345. Um, so, as you guys saw earlier today, I ended up mixing my Dip Brow with the Wonder Brow because the Wonder Brow is very tricky to use. And I will tell you guys that while it does wear really well, it is water resistant. Um, it's also very tricky to use. It is a very watery formula and it doesn't apply evenly. You'll have patches that are, have slightly more pigmentation than others. And then as you try to build it up, it just gets a little bit more complicated. The trick that I have found to work is um, you basically fill in your brow with one thin layer, let it dry, and then come in and layer it on top of itself. But again, if your original application was already somewhat patchy, it'll continue to look patchy. Um, it's difficult to shape the brow. Now, if you're somebody that already has some brow or has a fuller brow, I think this would be fantastic and easy to use. For somebody like me that does not have full brows or that hardly has brows, this is really tricky to use because I find that um, it, it doesn't apply evenly. I find that um, it looks really just patchy um, and it's very easy to just kind of paint the skin as opposed to like actually try to shape the brow. It's a little trickier to use so it does take slightly more time to fill your brow in. Um, now the recommended way to use this is to actually just like paint your brow on um, but that would just be a disaster for me like if you guys look at this brush it looks very goopy thick um, and again that's not gonna work for my kind of brow as you guys saw earlier today what I have been using is my Anastasia brow gel um, brush and I do find that that works but again it doesn't give me that really easy, perfect brow because the consistency is so runny. Now, I wish that this product were in the form of like dip brow where it's a little bit thicker and heavier, so it's easier to control. This one does require more patience. Um, the only reason why I'm not returning this product is because I do find that it works. I took it with me to California. I purposely left my dip brow because I forced myself to use this. And um, I found that it does wear really well. I got in the pool, got out of the pool, still had eyebrows. Um, it doesn't smudge. And it does give your eyebrow texture so it looks like you have eyebrows. Um, so like, even if I show you guys, it looks like I actually have eyebrow hairs. And that's why I took Dip Brow and just kind of ran it on top of it. The shade is a little bit ashy and the shade that I'm using is black brown. So even then it can still look a little bit light or ashy. Here's my final thoughts on this product. I will tell you guys that if you're looking for a product that is going to wear really well in water that you don't have to worry about, um, you know, like rubbing off or, um, budging during really hot weather or in the water or in the ocean, this product is amazing. Um, it does not, I know that, it, that they recommend just like not washing your eyebrows when you're washing your makeup off um, because then that will extend the wear of it onto the next day and I found that that is the case. But um, if, again, if you have a thinner brow like me, you will lose some of that product because you don't have the hair for it to grip onto. Uh, when I have tried to actually remove it, I use an oil and I'll try and get all of it off, but it, where I do tend to have just a little bit more hair, um, it almost looks like there's chunks of glue on my eyebrow, like brown glue, and um, it's kind of difficult to get off, which means that my application the next day 
may be uneven because of residual product in your brow. The biggest con for me is just how difficult this is to apply. I am not sure if I were to layer it on top of the brow or like on top of a pencil, if that would make the application slightly easier um, or if that would, you know, make disrupt, I guess, the wear of this product. I'm not sure how that would work because I strictly just used this product up until I got home and I was like, I can't, I need a darker brow. Um, this is very fussy and this is very difficult to use. It's not even, you're not going to get a really clean, precise application, especially if you hardly have eyebrows. And um, my experience was that it is very challenging to use. It's not impossible, but it will require you to spend more time on your eyebrows. Now if you're somebody like me that in the mornings you need to get your routine going and you need to work fast, then you're not going to like this product at all. Um, I am keeping this product because again, it's a great product to have if you're going on vacation, if you're going to be getting in a pool, if you're going to be having a baby and you don't want your eyebrows to come off during delivery. Yeah, that's why I got it. <laughs> I know people are going to be taking pictures and I need to have eyebrows on. Um, then this is something that you may want to learn to work with. It's not my favorite product just because of how difficult it is to use and how time consuming it is. But I will tell you that my aunts in California are actually using this. They've been using this much longer than I have and their eyebrows look great. And But again, they have already something to work with. Mine are so fine that it's like they're non-existent. So I think that makes a difference. So if you have a fuller brow and you're wanting something to just kind of fill them in and have it wear all day without any concerns of it coming off, this is for you. If you're somebody like me who hardly has any eyebrows and you're wanting to wear a product that will be water resistant, heat proof, sweat proof, um, you know, everything proof, then you're going to have to work at this. So I cannot tell you that I love this product. I cannot tell you that I hate this product. I'm kind of like in between. It's For me, it's a necessary evil, honestly. It's like, I need eyebrows, I need it to stay on. I need everything to just kind of be locked in place. And this is it for me. But I hate how fussy this product is. I hate how much time I have to spend on my eyebrows so I'm really torn I know that that's not a great review I know that you know maybe I haven't answered um, your questions necessarily but I really did give this like a week and a half and I wore it every single day and I'm just not a hundred percent sold on it so that is my spiel I hope this was useful to you guys if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome to Mi Familia, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!